Okay, for tonight's homework, we are continuing to work with solving real world problems that involve fractions. This is problem number three from tonight's homework. You need to complete any three of the four. I'm gonna show you this one. You can use this for your homework if you want. Keith spends one sixth of his savings on a magazine and two fifths of the remainder on a storybook. What fraction of his savings is left? I'm first going to show you the bar model method. When I use a bar model, I simply start reading and document everything that I read. So Keith spends one sixth of his savings on a magazine. I'm going to go ahead, draw my bar model, break this up into six, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. And we said one six was spent on a magazine. I will label that one six for my magazine. And two fifths of the remainder. This is my remaining portion. It's already broken down into fifths. Two of those fifths are spent on a storybook. The question is what fraction of his savings is left? I can see that I have three out of the six pieces left. We always need to simplify, divide both by three. And I can see Keith has one half of his savings left. Now I can also solve this problem with math only if that's the approach you want to take. So for this story problem, we have Keith spends one sixth of his savings on a magazine. We're going to start with the whole amount of savings, which we could call six six, and subtract the one six away, which means he has five six left. And we know that of the remaining of the five six, two fifths is spent on a storybook. So if our remainder is five fifths, two of those fifths are spent on a storybook. That means he has three fifths left. The question is asking what fraction of the savings is the storybook? So our savings our remainder was five six. Three fifths of that was spent on the storybook. So we can go ahead and simplify before we multiply. We can divide both the numerator and denominator by five, which leaves us with one. We can divide both the numerator and denominator by two. I'm sorry, by three. Three divided by three is one. Six divided by three is two. I can multiply. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, and I come up with the same answer that 1 half of Keith's savings is left. Good luck, and please try your hardest with all of these. We will go over them in class tomorrow.